Yin had never expected that Bam Bam's mother and Jungkook's mother were friends in the same social circle. Yin fell silent for a moment, taken aback by the unexpected encounter. It's been a while, Yin. All attention turned towards Bam Bam's mother and Yin, including Jungkook and his mother. Oh, Clara, I didn't realize you already knew my future daughter-in-law. Yin, come here, dear. Of course, I know her. She used to be my son's girlfriend. I never approved of their relationship, but I never expected she would become your future daughter-in-law, Lily. It seems you had quite a problematic past. Of course, as a mother, I protected my son from women who are like blood-sucking leeches. What are you saying? Just as that woman said, Mom, didn't you hear her call my fiancé a blood-sucking leech? But it's strange that he still bothered my fiancé until yesterday night. Even though her son cheated multiple times with other women, and one of them even got pregnant, it turned out that woman was pregnant by another man. And after it was exposed, he still had the nerve to ask my fiancé to come back to him. Maybe he's lost his sense of shame. No need to talk about my son, he's not here now. I'm just giving you a bit of advice, Jungkook. Don't let your wealth be drained by marrying that woman. Jungkook's mother suddenly laughs uproariously, making everyone go silent. She even laughs to the point of wiping tears from her eyes, as if what her friend said was the funniest joke in the world. Yin, who had been feeling uncomfortable, subconsciously tightened her grip on Jungkook's hand and leaned closer to him as if seeking protection. Jungkook's mother, who had been laughing, finally calms herself. I don't know about your family upbringing or your husband's attitude towards you Clara, for you to think that a wife is a leech in her husband's family. It seems this is interesting to discuss. I come from a poor family, but I managed to marry my husband. I'm not ashamed to admit this because it seems to be due to my circumstances. But doesn't that mean women like me who can marry wealthy men are actually very lucky? It means we managed to marry above our station. But you, born into wealth. Why couldn't you find a husband wealthier than you? Are there no wealthier men interested in you? So you only manage to marry a man of your level. Remember, only your level. Shouldn't you be envious of us? Oh, regarding a wife being a leech as you said earlier. Let's just assume I am a leech in my husband's life. But strangely, why hasn't my husband's wealth diminished but instead increased many times over since marrying me? Does that mean I am actually a lucky charm for my husband? And I'm quite sure, my future daughter-in-law whom you consider a leech, even if she is the only leech in our family, our wealth wouldn't diminish with just one leech. Let her be a leech, after all, my son Jungkook won't go bankrupt because of one leech, just like my husband didn't go bankrupt because of me being a leech in his family. In fact, my husband's wealth is still many times more than your husband's Clara. I'm really curious. How does your husband treat you? For you to be willing to demean fellow women? Does your husband not treat you well? Because if he treated you well at home, you would know how love works. Love doesn't look at appearance or status. That's what I learned from my husband. It seems your husband doesn't give you true love, so you don't know what love feels like or how it works. And also, please tell your son to stop pursuing my fiancé. We intend to invite him to our wedding, but if he plans to cause trouble, it's better he doesn't come. It will only make him more embarrassed and humiliated for begging for love from a woman you call a leech. Ah, uh, I'm busy. I still have a lot to prepare for my son's wedding. Basically, I want to invite all of you, friends. And as for you, Clara, it seems from now on we shouldn't be friends anymore. I will also tell my husband to cut all business contracts with your company. Are you doing all this just to defend that woman? Which woman are you talking about? If you mean my future daughter-in-law, then of course, I will always side with her over you. Are you crazy to think I would defend you over my child and in-law? How absurd your thinking is. Okay everyone, I'll be going now. We still have a lot to do. After saying that, Jungkook's mother, Jungkook and Yin leave the restaurant. Now, they had just left the parking lot to take Jungkook's mother back to the main house. Jungkook was driving, Yin sat beside him and his mother was in the back seat. Mom, I should have sat in the back, and you should have sat in the front. Not at all. A wife should always sit beside her husband. But I'm not Jungkook's wife yet. But you will be in a few days, sweetheart. Mom, thank you for defending me earlier. I really don't understand how I could have been friends with such a cunning and cruel woman. Aren't you going to thank me? I defended you too, you know. Yin reflexively pinched Jungkook's arm lightly. Yes. Thank you to you too. You're welcome, baby. The wedding day of Jungkook and Yin finally arrived. Many guests attended their wedding party, including company employees, business associates, extended family and friends. Everyone congratulated them on their happy day. However, there were guests who did not attend the wedding, even though their presence was quite anticipated, Bam Bam and his mother. It turns out they did not show up. The reason for their absence remains unknown. Six months later, 
Yin's pregnancy had advanced significantly. Yin was relatively weak during her pregnancy, which led Jungkook to forbid her from returning to work at the office. During her pregnancy, Yin experienced mood swings that could change every hour. Jungkook really had to practice his patience, but fortunately, he was getting used to it. The latest ultrasound showed that the baby she was carrying was a girl. Both of them were very excited about welcoming their daughter. It was one in the afternoon. As usual, Yin was reading books about parenting and watching similar videos. She gently rubbed her growing belly, occasionally feeling faint kicks from within. Yin vividly remembered Jungkook's excitement the first time he felt movement from her belly. He didn't want to take his hand off her stomach. Thinking back on it made her smile and feel touched. She began to reflect on their journey to this point, from spending unexpected nights together to the result of the baby in her womb. Unconsciously, tears welled up in the corners of her eyes. She smiled and wiped them away. Thank you for being in mommy's belly, sweetheart. Yin placed her iPad on the table and reached for her phone to call Jungkook. Suddenly, she felt the urge to go shopping for baby clothes. Although there were still three months to go, she really wanted to shop right now. Excitedly, she called him. Yes, baby. Are you okay? Jungkook was currently reading several reports that had just been sent to his email. I'm fine. Have you had lunch? Yes, I have. Have you? Or are you calling because you want a snack? Hum. That sounds good. But no, I've already eaten. Are you busy right now? Hearing her question, Jungkook immediately stopped working. He picked up his phone which was on the table in loudspeaker mode and brought it to his ear. It depends. Depends on what? Depends on what you're going to ask me to do. You know me so well. Um, let's go shopping. I'm bored. I want to buy clothes for our baby and some cute stuff for her. Jungkook loosened his tie. Before he could respond, he heard Yin groan. His body tensed up immediately. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. It's just that this baby is kicking really hard. Maybe she's excited about shopping, spending daddy's money. Huh, sweetheart? Jungkook sighed softly, hearing her in this adorable mode. How could Jungkook refuse? Even though he was supposed to read all the reports and have a meeting later in the afternoon. All right, get ready. I'll come pick you up now. But you're not busy, right? No, just get ready, okay? Okay, I'll hang up now. Love you. Jungkook smiled at the last two words. He didn't have a chance to respond as Yin had already ended the call. Now, Jungkook and Yin were at the mall. Jungkook was still dressed in his office attire, deliberately not changing into casual clothes. He wore a long sleeve shirt and a suit that hugged his broad frame. His plan was to head straight to the meeting room after dropping Yin off, so there was no need to change clothes again. In front of him, Yin wore a knee-length dress that clearly showed her growing belly. She looked cheerful as she glanced around. However, her destination was clear, the baby store. Jungkook quickened his pace and held Yin's hand. Just buying baby clothes? Yes. While Yin was selecting the tiny clothes, Jungkook stayed close by, reading the reports he hadn't finished earlier. Wherever Yin went, Jungkook followed, carrying the clothes Yin picked out. Which one is better? This or this? Yin pointed to two pairs of baby socks, both pink but with different patterns. Both are cute, just get both. Yin nodded and handed both pairs to Jungkook. While Yin continued browsing, Jungkook went back to reading his report. After an hour of shopping, Jungkook suggested they stop. He was worried Yin might get tired. Yin agreed and they headed to the cashier. At the cashier, Jungkook's secretary called, as it was time for his meeting. Jungkook answered after a quick glance at his watch. Yes? Yin focused on the baby clothes she had picked out, eager to dress their child in them soon. Can we push it back by half an hour? Yin looked over when Jungkook handed over his debit card without checking the total on the screen. She was shocked. It was almost as expensive as her phone. It was their first time shopping for baby clothes, and Yin had bought quite a lot. I'll be there in half an hour. Yin watched her husband, who was still on the phone. The meeting won't take long. Please inform them I had to reschedule. Jungkook was still on the call as he entered his pin. Okay, thanks. The call finally ended. Jungkook grabbed the rather large paper bag and motioned for Yin to follow him. Are you really busy? Yin asked after Jungkook put his phone away. She was starting to feel guilty. No, just have a meeting in a bit. You should have told me. I feel bad now. It's okay. Oh, by the way, how much did we spend? Good thing the balance was enough. Jungkook held Yin's hand as they got on the escalator. Are you low on money? Yin looked at Jungkook sadly, feeling even worse. Jungkook turned to her quickly. No, I just used the wrong card. That one doesn't have a lot of money in it. Hubby, I'm sorry if I'm being a burden. No, no, baby. Hubby, hum. Jungkook began opening the car door for his wife. What good deed did I do in the past to deserve you? Um, maybe you helped Plankton get the Krabby Patty recipe. 
Jungkook answered playfully and gently nudged Yin to get into the car. The tender moment Yin had created quickly vanished, causing her to pout as she got into the car. Jungkook laughed briefly and then placed their shopping bags in the back seat. I'm the lucky one to have you. Jungkook gave Yin's cheek a quick pinch and then buckled her seatbelt. Is the seatbelt okay? Not too tight on your belly? Jungkook asked after adjusting the seatbelt to ensure his wife was comfortable. No, it's fine. Thank you for today, hubby. You're welcome, my love. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all.